I gotta say, gentlemen, you know, it is hard doing the whole monk mode thing of basically avoiding women while I'm in the United States before I make my exit permanently. It just, it, it just is. You know, you see an attractive woman and you're like, man, I wanna fucking ask her out. In my opinion, it, the lemon ain't worth the squeeze, gentlemen. It's just, it's not worth the squeeze. It's just a, usually a fucking waste of time. Uh, chicks fucking get off to that shit with rejecting a dude. That's why I like rejecting like pretty girls at a bar. Because sometimes, you know, some, some really hot chick, sometimes, I'm not going to say it's all the time, but sometimes it does happen. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll, they'll like, you know, want a conversation with me and all that. And I'll be like, well, nah, I don't think I'm going to do that. But uh, it was nice talking to you. And you know, it's like a fucking deer in headlights because uh, girls aren't used to rejection. You know, it's uh, what's the old saying? <laughs> Rejection makes a man and breaks a woman. Well, that's the fucking truth, bro. <laughs> it's the fucking truth. <laughs> and, you know, I had so much success when I was in Mexico. And uh, it changed my entire outlook on why the fuck am I dealing with American chicks when I can get so much better going to another country. Going to another country. And I'm going back to Alaska in, like, next week. But I'm only going to be in Alaska for the winter. After that, I'm going to Mexico. And I'm going to live there most of the fucking time. Not only because the girl that I'm talking to right now that I really like is there, but also my family is there. Once I'm a dual citizen, shit. I'm fucking done with the USA, man. For lack of a better term, just Alaska. That's going to be my only other, my only home of record is going to be Alaska. And that's it. Point being of this video, American chicks, they just ain't worth the, the lemon ain't worth the squeeze, gentlemen. It ain't. Ugh. You're going to get a sassy woman that has an attitude in general, unless you find the unicorn. You know, cops an attitude, thinks that she can still act like she's single, have male friends, and you know, all that shit. All that shit that no dude wants to deal with, obviously. If you're in a relationship with a chick, <laughs> she can't have male friends. Cause you know what the fuck is going on with that. Don't give me that bullshit of, he's your friend, he's your friend. Yeah, bullshit, bullshit. I digress. Getting back to the main point. Ain't worth it, man. my brother my brother-in-law asked me he was like why don't you ever bring a girl home why don't you ever bring a girl home well I just that's how I see American women it just the lemon ain't worth the squeeze when I go to another country that lemon is worth the squeeze it's worth my time and effort to invest in that woman and I will court her and I will you know you know treat her with respect and do all those things if I if I think that she's like wife material and usually foreign women are wife material but no fuck no not in the usa i don't even respect them in the usa fuck that <laughs> i treat them like men in the usa because most of them have a masculine attitude call me a misogynist call me all the other bullshit that you want to call me i've heard it all man i've heard it all gentlemen it's nothing new to me you know, I just got back from the fucking jazz club in downtown, in downtown Austin, Texas. And there were a few girls that were looking at me. I didn't talk to them. I paid them no mind. I was there just for the music. I had one goal in mind, and that was it. Enjoy myself. Have drinks. For me, I've never bought a woman drinks, ever. I think that's simple shit. Never have I ever wasted money on a chick that I barely fucking knew. <laughs> Um, but anyways, now there were some girls looking at me because I was the only dude there in a fucking suit and tie. <laughs> um, and I paid them no mind. Not worth it. Once again, the lemon ain't worth the squeeze. The apple ain't worth the bite with American chicks. 
That's why I'm putting all my eggs in that one basket of foreign women. <laughs> there we go. There's a, there's a one-liner right there. <laughs> putting all my eggs in the one basket of American chicks. I mean, American. Oh, fuck. I can't believe I just said that. I'm a little tipsy, <laughs> if you can not tell. Uh, putting all my eggs in the one basket of foreign chicks only. Because I want a wife, man. I want to get married. I want kids. I ain't gonna find that here in the USA. No fucking way. And even if I did, it would be too risky because the laws in the USA are completely stacked against men. And I want a good, I want a woman that's gonna be a good mother to my children and a good wife to me. That's that. Anyways, Braulio's out. I hope you got something valuable out of this, gentlemen. Because this is a man's channel. <laughs> Braulio's out. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this uh, sidecar cocktail. Peace.